Hello and welcome to Tech Info TV. Reese here. So today we're going to look at this Acer projector, model number H6502BD or something like that. Uh, so we'll unbox it and then we'll have a first look uh, and see what the quality is like. Before we move forward though guys, please do hit that subscribe button just down here. Press the bell, really does mean the world to me and does help grow the channel. Okay, so here she is, the Acer projector. I'll tell you the model, but it doesn't say on the box. I'll tell you when I open it up. So it's got picture by DLP Texas Instruments, it means nothing to me. Eco projection, color safe two, no color decay. Nice, because the last projector did decay a bit. 3D color boost, full HD 1080 HDMI 3D. Luminescence Plus, again means nothing to me, I'm sure it's just brighter than usual. You get a one year guarantee uh, warranty with the lamp, which is nice. And a five year warranty with the DLP chip, again means nothing to me. So let's open her up and have a look. So this is our fourth projector, we're just taking out the uh, the Epson one that we've got, the Epson model, which has uh, served its purpose for the last few years, but now every time we change the bulb, uh, the bulb blows instantly, and at £50 a time, it's not cheap. So we've got the remote, nice, looks a bit 90s, but yeah. And we've got the plug and I think that's just the plug. What's that? Right, well don't look now, but I'm sure that's like a continental plug, but we'll get to that in a moment. Hopefully there's some sort of adapter. Oh, there's the other plug. So it's okay. Just means we can take it to Spain if we have to. <laughs> I think that's the HDMI cable, is it? Okay. It might even just be. It actually looks like it's a. It is, oh no, it's a. What are they called again? You know the blue. That one. VGA cable. But we've got a HDMI cable anyway, hopefully. Hopefully it's one in this bag because I think this day and age you should get HDMI cable included. If not, it's pretty cheap. Nicely protected by the foam, nice little carry case in case you've got some business abroad. Take your little uh, your little European plug with you. It's wrapped in a very thin sheet. So this was 549, well basically five, 550 pounds here in the UK today. Got it from Maplin. Similar prices on uh, Amazon, so I'd usually buy online on Amazon Prime if I can. So yeah, we've got the uh, resync mode menu, power, up, down, left, right, source, and then you've got your lights for power, lamp, and temperature. I think that was the issue with the, the Epson one that we've already got, was the temperature was getting too high for the lamp. I don't really want to clean it and then pay another £50 for another lamp for that to blow too though, so... So you've got the little lens protector there. And the lens. That's where the air comes from. These can actually heat up your room as well, so... Cheaper heating. <laughs> so at the back you've got your VGA in, H HDMI. Yeah, your mini USB, it's a nice touch. You can actually charge your uh, stuff on this. Audio in, one and two, audio out. It does come with a built-in sound, uh, with some speakers in there as, as well, so. But yeah, all the features on the back again, same as the box. NVIDIA, 
3D TV. Nice, nice. Can't wait to try that. So that's the model H6502BD. Or in the telephonetic alphabet, it's Hotel 6502 Brava Delta. You learn something every day, don't you guys? Just take this uh, wrap off because it's ugly. So that's the, the focus. So that goes from across to focus. Um, but yeah, we've got the instructions here. You get some cheap batteries to start you off. This was the most expensive model in Maplin, so you'd think they'd come with Duracell batteries. Uh, so warranty. Your batteries, your disc, I'm sure that's for drivers. You won't be using that. Instructions of how to change the lamp, is it? Some sort of instructions anyway. We won't be needing them yet because we've no, no need to fix anything. You get your little projector quick start guide. If you're like me and you're impatient in every language. You've got your uh, safety notice. Your declaratio de confirmed. Yep. Okay, so let's get it fired up. Welcome back, guys. So I've put a bit of a demo on to show you the quality. It's at about 120 inches corner to corner right now. Um, a few things to say about the projector. Um, one, it doesn't come with the 3D glasses. So yeah, it's got 3D, but you don't get any glasses. That's a bit cheap for me. And what would it cost to put a, piece, a, a pair of glasses in there? Um, it doesn't come with a HDMI cable. Luckily, I've already got one. It comes with a VGA cable, which gives you nowhere, nowhere near as good quality. Um, <clears throat> for five and a half hundred pounds, I think they should include those two things. I think you'll agree with me there. Let's have a look at the menu features. So, You've got a colour mode, Lumini, LumiSense rather. Let's uh, see if that does anything. I don't know what that's done, whether it's better or worse because of the transition. Uh, maybe it looks better, I don't know. What do you think? Let me know in the comments below. Um, you've got, you can flip the, the view left to right, right to left. You can, uh, change the projection from on the ceiling or on a stand ours is currently on a stand as I've not got a plug on the ceiling um, we've got change the aspect ratio several auto keystone so it'll, it'll adjust that when you move the projector um, change the sharpness <clears throat> we've got a little startup screen uh, editor where you can change what it says we're not going to mess with that and change to eco mode, high altitude, turn off mode, um, how fast it turns off, auto shut down in minutes, I've turned that off. Uh, menu display time, that keeps going off as you can tell, that's why I keep going up and down. Um, let you know how many, how many hours your lamp has done thus far, which is zero at the minute. And it will remind me, because I've got it set to yes, if uh, the lamp needs changing or it's coming up to the end of its life. <clears throat> which is no guarantees about by the way um, change the volume it goes past 100% but I'm not sure if that's going to blow the speakers on it it sounds okay it could be better um, it, does have a <coughs> it has an alarm as well um, the 3D I think it kills your, your uh, bulb quicker and it uses more power but um, it's set to 144 hertz so that's, that's good that's a lot of frames per second um, so it'll go well with an Xbox uh, One X or a, the new PlayStation. But yeah, I'm really disappointed with not having the 3D glasses or the HDMI cable with it. But yeah, it is nice quality. It's a lot better than the Epson one that I had before. As you can see, very crisp and clean. You know, the, the sound audio is not too bad either. Um, for the price, I'd have to give this unit uh, a 3 out of 5 it could have been so much better if they'd included the HDMI cable and the uh, the 3D glasses 
I know it's not a big deal, but it's, it's not even about paying the extra money. It's the fact that you come home, you expect to watch something with them. Um, there's no 3D glasses. If you've not got HDMI cable, you're going back to the shop to get one of them. Uh, there's no warning on the box. It doesn't say, it doesn't tell you that it doesn't include these things. Cheap old batteries to put in the remote, as you as you saw, Maxwell or Maxell, whatever they're called. A couple of Joris I wouldn't have gone miss. But yeah, three out of five. Um, probably could have got just as much out of one for 350 pounds, sort of mark, 400 pounds. But you know. If you do want to buy one, uh, I've put an Amazon affiliate link in the description for the best price on the web. Um, so please click on that in the description and uh, let me know what you think in the comments below. Do like if you liked the video, subscribe as ever, that does help the channel. And uh, follow us on Twitter, again link in description. Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you in the next one.